So today we're going to talk about cleaning um, a door window for window tinting and all the steps that go into not only keeping the glass clean, but doing a couple little extra things that helps keep your tint job uh, looking much better. So things with uh, tape and clay bars. So um, first thing that I do um, when I pull in a car in is just give it a rough visual inspection. Um, I'm looking for stickers and things that um, are kind of clung and obvious to the glass. So that way I know kind of what I'm getting into. So honestly, to just clean the glass, I'll still use like the same soapy water spray that I'll use to tint it. You can use a glass cleaner. That's totally fine. You'll spray that down and you'll just wipe it off. Um, and then obviously if there's going to be like a dealer sticker residue anything in there, it'll be pretty obvious. So most glass is relatively clean. Um, it just has some light buildup. So that's what we're going to take care of today. But before we do any of that, we're going to roll the window down entirely. And we're going to tape the inside seals. So what we found out works best is like house wrap tape or sheathing tape. Painter's tape does work, just not as well as this stuff. So this stuff is thin, it's very tacky, um, and it's very water resistant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear off some pieces and then cut them off with my knife. So all I'm really concerned of doing is blocking off the main portion of the seals, the parts that go straight up and down. So that's gonna be this part and that's gonna be this smaller part over here. Now the reason I cut off multiple pieces is it's just easier for me to layer inside this seal. So all I'm covering is gonna be right in here. I push it in about as far as I can get it and then I just wrap it around the paint portion. So if I open this door up just a little bit, then I'm gonna wrap this around the inside of the paint there. So. Uh, a lot of paneling will not be paint, it'll be plastic, along with maybe rubber or felt gaskets. So new cars, old cars, this is a little trick that's gonna help keep a much cleaner tint job on any type of car that you go to tint. It just works really, really well. I tinted for plenty of years without taping anything, and now I tape literally everything. So, now that the seals are protected, um, from there, I can go ahead and roll my window back up. And I wanna make sure that the tape stays in place. That's one reason I really like this one. I wanna make sure this hasn't rolled back up. So you can see it sticks here nicely on the inside. Same thing with that side over there. That's got the painted seal, so it tacks up nicely to that. And it just keeps the main edges covered. So one last thing that I'll do now this is dependent on the type of door that you're tinting, but as a little extra measure, I have a sticky plastic that I put over the door panel to try and keep the whole thing nice and protected. Um, I found a quick and easy way for me to get that to stick to the door panel is actually one more line of tape. So this is a little above and beyond, but I will stick this right to the top of that door panel Cut this off, and then I will go grab my plastic and I will layer it over here. So let's go do that. So up here is a roll of carpet shield. Now, the reason why I'm using carpet shield is because it's made to stick to carpet. Carpet is a very hard thing for most things to stick to. Door panels are actually um, pretty, uh, not much sticks to them essentially. So um, I have have this little thing rigged up here where I take a piece of carpet shield, I unroll it, and then I make those little cuts and I can pick it off and tear it and just, I'm gonna bring it straight back over. And then we're gonna stick it to the inside of the door panel here. Now I started with the sticky plastic route because Initially, it seemed to stick to a lot of different types of paneling, but it doesn't stick to all of them. So the tape here is a way that I can just roll this plastic onto and kind of create a nice watertight seal here in a very short amount of time. 
So otherwise I could just take the plastic, stick it to the door panel, but sometimes it starts to fall off up here and then water, once it runs down onto the door panel, the whole piece starts falling off. So it's, it's not the best um, way to cover up door panels, um, but it is definitely a way to cover up door panels. Honestly, I still haven't found the best way to cover them up. Okay, so now we are going to clean the inside of the glass. This is before we even cut a piece of tint out. I'll often do this right before I go to install the tint, but just to give you guys a nice perspective, first thing that I'll do is the window is all the way rolled up and I'll start on the bottom. So I'll spray again my soapy water solution I'll spray that right on the window. And right now we'll go over um, scrapers. So you have a couple of different scraper options. So you have your single edge razor blades. You have uh, the Detroit Tint Studio scraper. And then you also have the Gator Blade. The Gator Blade has the best edge out of the plastic cards. But if you want something that is going to be 100% consistent, um, razor blades are kind of the way to go but you don't need them for every window. So in this case, um, you could basically run your hand over it. You could feel for any like hard sticky points. Um, and you could take then a gator blade and start scraping that along the window. Or you could also take the Tint Studio one, scrape that against the window. What I like most about the plastic scrapers is that they're reusable and they have these extra edges that dig in on the side seals. So it's very easy for me to reach in farther where a one inch razor blade butts up right against the seal and I can't get that same reach in a lot of seals. But I know that if there's any sticky um, on the window that a razor blade is gonna be the guaranteed way to take it off. So I will start typically right on the bottom half of the window Reason I start on the bottom half is it just makes everything a little bit more efficient. I scrape the bottom first, and then when I roll the window down, everything's ready for me to clean the top half and then install the film. So you take that razor blade, you hold it at a very sharp angle to the glass, just as low as you can. You can also use a little razor blade holder if you want to. I tend to go through so many razor blades that I just take off the cardboard, scrape away, and then I'm good to go. So from there, I roll down the window. And the top edge is where a lot of dirt can sit that you don't even necessarily know. So this is a pretty new car, so I'm assuming this is going to be very clean. Um, but one thing we'll do is we'll spray it, and then we'll scrape this back off, starting at the top, just work our way back and forth. That way we know it's 100% clean. And then as for the top edge, there's a couple of options here. You can use just a microfiber rag, and that's good for a lot of cases. One thing that's gonna be a little bit more thorough is the clay bar. So I'll make sure that top edge has some water on it, and then I'll just take that clay bar, run it over the top edge, go back and forth, so this is a tempered window, meaning that it's just one solid piece and this is a nice rounded edge up here. So if it was a laminated window, it would have a little groove that catches a lot of dirt. So that's where a clay bar is gonna be a little bit nicer. So I'll run that over the top edge and you can still see being a new window, we still cleaned a fair amount of trash off of the top, but it would be totally acceptable to take a towel and just do a little bit more scrub work on that, run it over the top edge, um, which I'll still do anyways after I clay bar it and make sure I get any extra little dirt bits off of the top edge. So once that's all set, I mean, we're pretty much good to go. It would be completely clean at this point, minus just taking your squeegee, going from one side to the next, and then taking like a corner tool and giving it a couple swipes. That way, when I leave the window sitting here, that dirt that I just scraped off the glass doesn't then glue itself back to the window. It doesn't dry out and stick there. I've, I've removed it from it. I would rather remove it with a squeegee rather than just taking a towel because the towel is going to leave a lot of little lint bits behind too. So squeegee is just really quick and easy. Um, and at this point, we are all ready to install the window. There's not a lot of steps to it. So essentially, it's just that. It's literally... Spray the window, 
take the scraper of your choice, give the window a good scrape, and then you're gonna wipe off the top edge. And then, you know, make sure there's some spray on it. Take your handled squeegee. Squeegee from one side to the next. And then swipe down, swipe down, and boom, you're good to go. So hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions about cleaning. Um, there's definitely a couple other tools. Um, there's lots of different options out there. Um, I forgot to even touch on scrub pads, which still can work similarly. They just don't scrape as well as they do clean. So scrub pads are also um, a really good choice for cleaning glass. Other than that, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and uh, see you in the next one.